Bam 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 bam. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to build an underground library. I know it sounds really weird, but that's what we're doing today. So first, find yourself a cave in the ground. Then, well, um, remember, most of my build hog videos I'm doing from scratch in my head. Nothing already planned, just from scratch. Like I just said. Ooh, cool, I have an animation. If you go look closely, you can see it flashing. That's cool. Just give off different light levels. Oh, yeah. I think it does. Oh, who cares? So, first, you're going to want to find the wall then put in a spruce door make a look make a little bit of room for a spruce door you might be wondering where we're gonna put our forget that not to saying anything because i forgot what i was gonna say okay so you dig out around the door Get some stripped oak logs. Then you do like this. That looks nice. Okay. Now you get some spruce planks or two slabs or yeah, just some spruce planks. I'm using slabs because I for because I didn't know that I was gonna need spruce planks. So just give me a minute to finish placing. Okay, there we go. Placement's all done. Now you're probably wondering, it's so dark. We need lighting. Well, you're absolutely right. Lighting. Happy now? That was mean. Actually, we're going to move it one more in, but keep the stair, but keep the upside down stair there, because that's where our glass is going to be. Yeah, so remember, this is the library. You've got to be quiet. If you heard me, I said quiet. Quietly. So then you've got to dig out all around, one block out of the window. Oh yeah, also got to put oak logs. One, two, three, four. Then on this side, you could just do it on the inside. If you don't, if you can't see it, you just do it on the inside. That's my pro building tip. It still it needs to look nice. Yeah, it's four, right? Yeah. Well, no. So that's the outside of the library done. Now we got to move on to the inside. So you should have two blocks away from your door slash wall. So you go another one, two, three, four. So you go out four. An extra four. Then you just dig the rest out. Digging's actually really fast on a computer. Okay, and dig one more block up so um just telling you we're gonna keep all the all the maybe we're gonna keep all the natural stone blocks in that but i'm not sure yet probably not so right now it's six blocks out let's make that eight so we're gonna go two more <coughs> remember this is a library not some weird dungeon thingamajigger. You could call it that. And you could even turn this into your house if you're just looking to live in a library. So, yeah. That's... 
there's probably going to be some extra rooms, but I don't think so. Never mind. Yeah, so the room is dug out. Ba -ba I don't think that that's copyrighted. Oh well. So yeah. Um, what to do? What to do? Walls. Oh yeah. So on every corner, just do this on both sides. Add the oak logs. Keep the, there should be a block in the middle, keep that with nothing in it. Yeah, and if you can see it from the outside, I suggest that you cover that up. I don't really have any blocks to cover it up yet. Well, I will soon. After I'm done this. Okay. Now in the walls, we're going to fill this in with spruce planks. So I will get, because spruce slabs are too hard. Just um pressing break in place at the same time. You could also do that if you want it to be done faster. And remember, you could also always do this um above ground, but I find it looks better underground because you can't see any of the any of the outside much except for just the door. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, so now on. Okay. So now. The most amazing time that you've all been waiting for. The bookshelves. As soon as I could find them. Where are they? Get yeah, bookshelves, sizzle bookshelves. And, um. Uh, looms because um looms turn on them their side looks like empty bookshelves oh there's a loom okay um just gonna take me a few seconds potentially to find them oops there they are where are they again oh my god oh there they are Sizzle bookshelves and bookshelves, and we might come back for the lantern, but I'm not sure about that yet. So over here will be like a little desk with some bookshelves and maybe some other stuff. So put some bookshelves here. You could put sizzled bookshelves, looms, but make sure they're on their side, because see? It looks almost exactly like that, bookshelf. I'm sorry to point this out, but the books uh, look like Among Us characters. Sorry, all you guys. Sorry they have to ruin Minecraft for you. Oh, also looms look like air, con air conditioners. Like if you put two, it's an air conditioning. But we don't need air conditioning down in the... Oopsies. Down, down in the caves, because it's usually cooler... Um, when you go down low. So yeah, you could add so you could add books to the sizzled bookshelves if you want. It's probably a necessity, but I'm not sure. So you could do that. Yeah. So now I'm gonna cool show you a cool building hack. It's not really a hack. Well, sort of. So get out a smithing table, 
Um, leather helmet. Red dye, I'm guessing it's in here. I give up, I'm just gonna craft my own. Wait, what? Where's crafting? So I'm gonna have to get a crafting table. Well, that's another thing that you should probably add. Crafting table. Wait, what? No. And you get red dye. Don't ask why I have a debug stick. My inventory. Okay, red dye and then the tied armor trim. Tide, 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 tide. That's Dune. Take me a little bit to find it. Never mind. Tide armor trim. So this should look like a book. Oh, you're also gonna need quartz. I forgot about that. You're gonna use it quartz for the armor trim. This is um, you could do this on all of this, since I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah. Smithing table. Leather cap. White dye. Wait, what? No. Not white dye. Oh! That's where the dyes are. Sorry. So you need nether quartz. Tease. There. Leather cap there. Then tied armor trim. See how it looks like a book? Now... This is done differently on both of this ends. This part, well, you're going to need an armor stain, first of all. That's not done differently on both of this ends. Where's the armor stain? Oh, yeah, here. Oh, I'm going to need a spruce, plank, stairs, and slab. Sorry for that. So, oh, yeah. Let me just delete those two. So if you're on the Java edition of Minecraft, you get snow layers, but if you're on um, Bedrock, you get composter. It's just basically just, so I'll demonstrate it for Bedrock first, because that's what I usually play on, but I'm on Java edition right now. So, and then you push it in, then it becomes a book, but on Java edition. One, two, three, snow layers. Please don't fall through. Oh, come on. How? Oh. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to use a half slab. Because compost is too low and I can't use snow layers for some reason. I saw it in a video. I don't know. Ooh. Excuse me, well, I take a while looking for a substitute. Um, moss carpet, no. Dripstone, no. Maybe dripstone? No. Too high. Um, Snifrig, too high. Old turn. What to do, what to do, cobweb, no, skulk sensor maybe? Speaker maybe? Yeah, I don't think it makes the noises without a skulk sensor. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. I have an idea, then I could potentially put a carpet on top. So, use a skulk shrieker, get your skulk shrieker. Has to be a shrieker, skulk central, make too much noise. Then have the blue particle effect thingy, majiggers. Oh yeah, redstone blocks. <coughs> the 
Kisten Redstone Block Yeah, so now I could maybe put a slab. I'm gonna have to get that the piston back. Let's don't block piston. Oh, slab's way too much. How about just carpet? No, I don't want pink wool. Sorry. White carpet, maybe. Why can't I place carpet? <sighs> What's something that's shorter than a slab, but Taller than a uh, carpet. Hmm. Flower pot. Flower pot could work. I doubt it, but it could. Yeah, flower pot's gonna work. I hope. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Can't move flower pots. That's sad. Maybe a conduit. Never mind. Mm, let me just look. Sign, hanging sign. Too big. Maybe a candle. Candle could work. Please don't break, please don't break. And uh, of course it broke. Dang it. Oh, uh, we should probably use cancels instead of that. Anyways. Okay, so if you find a way to... Don't go to this too tall. If you find a way to to have this, um, just put it however you find a way. This is how I'm going to keep mine. With the carpet. Just so you could see a little less. There. Oh no. Come on. Oh, sorry, just excuse me for a minute, even though I'm going to stay on camera. You could dye the leather cap whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Put it. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay. There we go. Now it's time to do the floor. Create the floor. What color shall the floor be? Let me just destroy all this. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the floor shall be. Yeah, I think that trap door, trap doors will look nice. They have, they all have to be in one direction. Get out here, sculpt shrieker. Oh, I can't get rid of it. Okay, direction decided. Oof. 
time to sift place every single one. Oops. Let's do this. Woohoo, fun. So I actually recommend this direction, the direction that I'm placing the trapdoors. Then obviously we're gonna have to add some more bookshelves. This is just a small little library. A very tiny, tiny, small library. I should have done this first, the floor. Makes it pretty hard. But that's fine. Everything is fine. Ah, there we go. Now, whenever you want. What the heck just happened? I didn't even. I didn't even press. What the heck? Huh. I guess I flicked that. Make sure not to flick the trap door that your door's on, or your door will pop off and say bye bye. There, that's how you could tell what's underneath. Yeah. If your friends ever come into here, tell them not to flip the trap door. Well, I'll make them flip the trap. Want to flip the trap door even more? So just ignore them. Sorry. Book self, sizzle book self, lectern, um, loom. That's what else. Flip and switch. Could add a lectern in right there, then just have that one lonely stare. Yeah. Now we add some more book cells. Destroy those ones because no one's ever going to see them. Sorry. Let's just put something in there. Then put some stuff in. Oopsies. Yeah, so when you're placing, make sure to place on the wall and not on the ground. Because then you could actually place. So you don't flip open the trap doors. The looms are supposed to be scattered. You don't put them everywhere like that. So I did. So time to get some books and fill up the, the other, what's you call it? Sizzle book selves. Tools and utilities, combat, spawn eggs, food and drink. Why would it be in food and drink? Uh, redstone. Guessing. Nope. Food and drink. No ingredients. Maybe. Oh yeah. Book. Now in the Tizzle bookshelves, you could add however many you want. You could do whatever pattern you want. It doesn't matter. As long as it looks nice. Maybe like leave a few with full books and some without any books. Just go crazy with the books. Placing the books. How many ever books you want. That actually looks really nice. Okay. Anything else that library needs? Libraries don't have cafeterias, so... Oops. Yeah, not really anything else that we have to add to this. 
if there's any details I missed, you could add them on your own. So, yeah. That's how you make an underground library. That's probably the weirdest outro ever. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye!